Tonight, bullying is a daily nightmare for many kids, and tonight more than 100 people took time to remember those kids who have lost their lives due to bullying. Earlier tonight, ABC6 News reporter Ben Garbick spoke to some who know what bullying is like firsthand. The weather is dark and dreary. That's often the way kids feel when they're struggling with bullies. The people that showed up at Goodale Park tonight all lit candles to remember those kids that lost their lives because they couldn't take the harassment anymore. Dwayne Stewart is someone that knows what bullying feels like when he was growing up. I was in rural Delaware, Ohio, and I was not only just the only, you know, gay kid in my school, but I was the only black kid, one of the only black kids in my school. So there was bullying from every angle. Many people got up to share their stories about dealing with bullies. It's very isolating. It makes you feel like you're not worth anything. Jay Perota is one of the people that organized the vigil. He says hundreds of thousands of kids skip school every day because they're afraid. Every child deserves to go to school and feel safe, secure, nurtured, and challenged. The people that stuck it out in the cold rain want others to know it does get better. We have to remember that this is happening, that we have to do more work to make sure it doesn't happen tomorrow. I'm Ben Garbrick, ABC6 News.